Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl by your lap party heaven. So guys, this week we're not going live. As I promised, I will be shooting videos of small bouquets you can deliver. Um, not everyone would want to pay for the bigger bouquets, but the small ones in different designs will still wow your clients. You just need to create the design, upload it on your social media and share it. And before I kick off, Remember, at the end of this video, I am going to be showing you how to do the flowers in the video from last week. So stay tuned. Do not skip the dial. Remember to subscribe, share, like. See you at the end. We have, I have everything we need for this video. So I have my water weight. Remember I showed you. Um, this bouquet is perfect for a five-year-old. So I've got a five-year-old balloon. I've got my, um, um, what's it called, uh, bobo balloon, and then I've got an area of 11 inches, 11 inches, I've got some 5 inches double stuffed, um, this is pearl light blue, this is standard blue, and this is, um, this is sapphire blue, and then I stuffed in, uh, um, I think a teal inside of it, um, so yeah, let's kick off, not, not too much talking, um, so for the base, I'm going to use the pearl light blue for my first four. So I am not sizing this balloon. I'm just going to eyeball it. So that's how big I want the first set of two to be. You tie off. I'm just going to place this here. And then I'm going to inflate another set of two. I need to make sure it's the same size as that. So that's why you need the sizer really. The sizer helps you to get an accurate size. You tie off, yeah? I'm gonna put that aside and then I'm gonna inflate another set of four that would be on top of it. So for this one, I want it smaller. I don't want it really big. So you can either use a five inch for this one or you can still use an 11 inches balloon. So I'm using 11 inches. So the first fours I've done, I've used 11 inches. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this one. I want it equally small. So I've got my four. This one looks a bit bigger. So I'll just put a bit more. Yeah, like so. And then my second set of four so i'm going to put my inflator aside and then i'm going to get the first four i inflated i'm going to wrap it around together so that's sitting down i'm going to get my water weights tie it in put it under and then you tie tie again and then bring it down so I'm going to get the smaller ones I inflated and wrap it around. And then I'm using the nozzle from the one at the bottom. I'm wrapping it around here, yeah, like so. And then tie. Yeah, so that is my four. I'm going to put that aside. And then for the top, like I said, I'm going to be using a, a bubble balloon. And then uh, uh, an 18 inches. The bubble balloon is, um, I think it's 22 inches, and this is 18 inches. So I'm going to stuff this into this. So, guys, here I am inflating the bubble balloon. I'm using the bubble. You have to stretch it out first. So, what I do is I inflate it with hair first, and then I deflate it. You can see that's what I've done here. Then I get my 18 inches foil balloon. I wrap it around a stick and then I put it into the bubble balloon. The bubble balloons can be found on eBay. I think I'm going to like put a link below so that you can find it. Um, I prefer to use them for the airfield designs. I don't trust them with helium because I've used helium in them and it didn't last so long. But they are great for airfield designs where you want to wow your client. So I inflate the 18 inches balloon first. 
sorry i inflated the bubble first and then i used my hand pump to inflate the 18 inches balloon inside the bubble as you can see and then i put more hair into the bubble balloon so to achieve the size i want so also i'm showing you here if you were going to like add in some five inches into the bubble balloon all you need to do is to put the five inches into your stick and put it into your bubble balloon and you inflate with your hand pump but i'm not going to be using five inches here because um there's no point um i have an 18 inches already and it's good enough for me and then here you would see that way i tie my bubble balloon as you can see i've straightened it first and then i get my 160q or 260q and then i twist the bubble balloon can you see that i've twisted it several times and then i get my 260q balloon and i wrap it round so do not use a ribbon to tie a bubble balloon or a deco bubble balloon because it would go down in no time but when you secure with a 260q or a 160q you have your perfect balloon that would last for nothing less than a week and then i tied it into the base i already made I tied it using the 260Q I used in securing the bubble balloon. And then this time I want to add a bit of 260Q over the bubble balloon. So I'm going to be doing mini bubbles. This mini bubble can be tricky at times. So what I've done here is I decided to like do the 260Q bubbles first. So you just pinch twist, you keep pinch, pinching and twisting till you have the length you desire. So if you're going to try this, I'll suggest that you do not put too much hair into the 260Q. Just inflate it halfway and then you would have enough to cover your design. So I tie the first part of the 260q into the base using the cutoff 260q and then i glued the other part using my double-sided tape to the top i used u glue dashes instead of a balloon bond i use a balloon bond and u glue dashes at the same time And then I do a pinch twist. And this secures the first half. Nip it off with your scissors and you tie it off easy. Then I take another half tied into the pinch twist on top I press it down and I start twisting again to fill up the other side twist till the very end and tie into the base using a cut off 260Q like you did on the first side the bubble can come undone so easily so you need to make sure you're holding onto it tightly or the whole thing would come unraveled and that can be very 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 annoying especially if you are impatient like me yeah so i've secured that and then i nip off the end and i tie off
Then I secure loose part with my dash, you glue dashes. So the next thing for me is to ha add five inches to the base to give you that extra wow factor. So I've inflated the five inches into an organic style as in random sizes. It's not the same size, different sizes, just to give you that chic look. I tied them in using 260Q. And then I get a number five balloon since it's for a five year old. I could put it at the top if I wanted or tie it into the base. Either way is fine. Then I get my 260 cues, curly 260 cues. If you want to know how I made the curly 260 cue, please watch this video till the end. Can you see how everything has come together as one? If you don't like where I've placed the number five, you could glue it whatever way you want but i prefer to tie it in this is to secure it now i am adding customization if you want to know how to customize every person that customizes uses a silhouette or a cricut machine if you have got a great handwriting then you could buy postcard pens from wholesalers and then you could you know do your calligraphy yourself but if you haven't got a great writing like me because i've got a terrible handwriting I have a silhouette um, it's a silhouette cameo ball and I use it for my customization Can you see how everything has come together perfect okay now remember I promised to show you how to do the flower from last week so we're gonna have inflated two of my balloons already you need 260Q or 160Q and you need three of them to do the flower. So I've inflated two already. I'm going to inflate the third one. This is just so I don't bore you. Um, so almost the end. You need to measure that it's the same size with the three you've inflated before. Yeah? So, so I've tied it off, yeah? So what you do is you tie it off here it's soft already because i already under inflated it so i'm gonna tie up that's one i'm gonna do the same thing to this one i need to make sure it's soft if i tie it off i'm gonna use this to measure to tie it off this is so that i know it's the same that's that same thing for the third one tie off yeah look for the middle yeah make sure it's equal on both sides yeah Only one side, yeah. So that's a sitting there. The same thing. Okay, 
we have eight. Shape eight, we go eight, eight, eight. Then wrap me around this one. Take the third one. So you have this some people will just use this but if you don't want to use just this so what you do is you come to the first one laying it down you take this So guys thank you so much for joining me once again and um, so we created this and we created this um so guys i want you to try it out and tell me how you let me know how you got along with it and um, the flower you need practice to get it right it's not a straightforward thing just make sure that you have six under and you have six on top and that's it and you have your perfect looking flower thank you guys for watching thank you for joining me so stay tuned next week when i show you another um very simple 
bouquet that you can use for a kid's party or event. And, and I think next week I'll talk more about um, customization. Um, yeah, remember to subscribe, share, and like the video. Thank you guys. Bye. Guys, remember I told you I was going to show you how to do the 260Q. So here we go. Um, so you get your um, pipe. Um, tie a 260Q here to it. This pipe is from a cling film. Get your 260Q. Um, put it under. Wrap it around. I've done this in a lot of my videos. So, um, And then you get your hand pump. And you inflate, and turn, inflate, turn, inflate, till the end. And pull it out, and that's your perfect 260Q, yeah? And you tie it off. There you go. So it's quite easy.